Wrexham manager Phil Parkinson is one of the most experienced football managers in the Football League currently. Having taken charge of nearly 1,000 games, the former Reading midfielder is now at the race course ground and plotting Wrexham's rise up the Football League. But what has Parkinson actually done in his career and why is he such a well thought of manager? After a playing career that saw him start at Southampton, Parkinson made his professional debut for Bury in 1988 before joining Reading in 1992 for £50,000. In 11 years at the club, Parkinson helped guide the club up to the championship and was there during their move to the Medeski Stadium. He retired in 2003 and took the job as manager of Colchester United who were in League One. After keeping them up, Parkinson went about building the team capable of promotion and the news were in the championship after only a couple of seasons of him being in charge. Parkinson though didn't stick about at Colchester and left to join Hull City before the start of the 2006 or 7 campaign. That move did not go well though, Parkinson didn't see out the year and left the club by mutual consent in December with the club rooted in the relegation zone. A move to Charlton followed but again it was a difficult spell for Parkinson with the club struggling financially after their relegation from the Premier League. He oversaw a relegation to League One and failed to get the club out of the division as they fell in the playoffs to Swindon in 2010. After a poor start the following season, Parkinson was sacked in January 2011 and found his reputation in tatters. Fortunately, his next job was a huge success as he led Bradford into their best years since they were in the Premier League at the start of the millennium. Parkinson led the club to the League Cup final in 2013, an impressive feat for a League Two side. The club knocked out Arsenal and Aston Villa on route to the final, which they unfortunately lost against Swansea City at Wembley. Bradford were promoted to League One that season, winning the playoff final 3-0 against Northampton Town. The club would make headlines again in January 2015 as they defeated Jose Mourinho's Chelsea 4-2 at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup. They followed that with a 2-0 win at home against Sunderland, but exited the competition in the quarter-final after losing to Reading. Parkinson guided Bradford to the League One playoffs in 2016, but they lost to Millwall and he left the club after the game and joined Bolton Wanderers, who had just been relegated to League One. The club were under a transfer embargo and had huge financial strains, but Parkinson guided them to a promotion at the Championship as runners-up in his first season at the club. The next year was difficult, with Bolton fighting relegation, but they did manage to survive, finishing 21st but they were relegated the following season and Parkinson would eventually leave the club at the start of the next campaign. His efforts at Bolton did not go unnoticed, as Parkinson landed the biggest job of his career at Sunderland. The Black Cats, also famous for their own documentary like Wrexham, were in League One and struggling despite their huge stadium and fan base. Parkinson though was not a good fit for the Black Cats and was hugely unpopular with fans, which resulted in him leaving the club after only 48 games. After leaving in November 2020, he would take the Wrexham job in July of 2021, and the rest, of course, is history. The Red Dragons won the division this past season and are now heading into the Football League for the first time since 2008.